Hey yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope that you are all having an amazing day. So for today, we are going to talk about tips for beginner drone pilots. So this video right here is going to be kind of like a start of a uh, mini series that I'm planning on how to fly drones. Cause like a lot of my friends have been asking me to make this video since last year. They're actually pretty scared to like buy one and accidentally crash it or maybe hurt people along the way if they ever crash it this is an expensive hobby and that is why i'm making this video to help aspiring pilots out there to fly their first drone or you know those beginner pilots that are not yet confident in flying their own so yeah this video is for you guys and for those who don't have a drone yet and are actually planning on buying one you are in luck because i have this drone right here that i'm planning to give away this is the mavic mini and it's a fly more combo, which means it has three batteries that are going to help you with your travels. So yeah, this is enough when you're going traveling. And uh, if you wanna win this drone right here, all you have to do is follow the link in the description down below and follow the instructions. So yeah, good luck and I hope you win. I actually made this list right here before setting up this video for you guys. And uh, I'll be reading things off this list that I made. So yeah, let's get on to it. So the first thing that I'm going to teach you before actually taking off is to be familiar with the rules and regulations of flying one. Okay, so the reason why I actually want to start with this is because I have seen videos and pictures online of some pilots violating rules that can endanger other people, which in the end also affects everyone in the drone community, which we really don't want that to happen because like we want to be able to fly our drones freely and want to enjoy flying it. So yeah. So each country has different rules regarding drones. And here in the Philippines, CAAP, which means Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, has their own rules. They even made their own video, which I will link down in the description below. But this video right here is going to be a video about my own knowledge and my own experience of flying drones for the past, I don't know, decade or so. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to teach you guys is not to fly in crowded areas unless authorized and with proper precautions. The reason for that is flying over crowded areas is very risky and very dangerous, especially if you are not an experienced pilot. Accidents may happen in where you might not be able to control your drone, or maybe your drone loses connection from the GPS, which makes it extremely hard to handle, especially when the wind is blowing against it, which makes it move even though you're not controlling it. So yeah. Those are some things that actually makes people panic and end up crashing it. So imagine if you're actually flying this drone with a lot of people under it. It's hard, it's dangerous, and if you don't have enough skill, please don't fly over a lot of people. I mean, please don't. Unless if you're a skilled pilot and you're authorized by the government, of course. So the second thing that I want to teach you guys is to always keep the drone in line of sight at all times. Or at least get someone to look after your drone while you're flying it. So flying in areas in where you can't see the drone, for example, this is a building right here in the middle and you are right here. If you fly this drone all the way to the other side of this building with you right in here, it dramatically changes the connection, the signal that you're sending to the drone, which makes it hard to control. Or sometimes you actually even lose control of your drone, which ends up crashing. You always want to keep your drone in line of sight so that your control from the remote is always there. So the third thing that I want to point out is not to fly your drone during nighttime, which again, unless you are authorized by the government, don't do, don't do that, all right? So even if your drone has lights, I mean, this drone right here has lights here and on the back right here, it's best if you just follow the rules and don't fly. So the only legal way to actually fly a drone during nighttime, especially if you're doing events like Tinatiang, is to ask for permission from Kaap and coordinating with the local police stations around you so that you will have the proper precautions and they will be aware that you're flying one. That's what I did when I shot for Tinatiang last year and yeah, it turned out well and everyone is happy. There are a lot of risks flying your drone at night. One is because you certainly can't keep your drone in your line of sight. I mean, it's night, you can't see it. Even these small lights right here are actually hard to see at night. Sometimes you need a spotter to do it. Number two is because there is a huge possibility of crashing your drones into electrical wires and stuff like that. Cause like those wires, when you're flying your drone, you can't really see them on your phone. It's, it's hard. I mean, it's tempting, but like, you know, just to avoid accidents, don't do it, all right? Uh, the fourth thing is to fly only on good weather. Flying your drone when it's raining or when the wind velocity is pretty strong is not a good idea. Cause like there are a lot of factors to consider like your battery draining fast or once again, the wind blowing your drone somewhere you don't want it to be. So yeah, you don't want to lose your drone that way. Uh, just don't fly when you think you can't control your drone. 
So the fifth thing is not to fly your drone over the altitude of 120 meters or 400 feet above ground level. So there are also a lot of reasons for that. One of them is because when you're flying that high, you might be able to crash into airplanes, choppers that are passing by, which is very dangerous. I mean, you would not want that to happen. Another reason because if you fly at that altitude, you might lose connection with your drone which makes it hard to control again and you might lose it. And another reason would be because if you're flying that high, the uh, wind velocity is different from when you're flying low. Up there, it's actually pretty strong which also makes your drone hard to control. So yeah, just to be safe, just don't fly your drone over 120 meters above ground level. So the sixth thing is not to fly your drone within a 10 kilometer radius around the airport which is nearest to you. Obviously you don't want to fly your drone in places where airplanes are taking off and landing. That is extremely dangerous. So the best way I actually found is to go and search for apps in the uh, Play Store or App Store that actually show you areas where airports are located. So you'd have an idea where airplanes are passing by all the time. So the seventh thing is not to fly your drone in areas where emergencies are happening just like uh, floods, fires, or maybe land slides stuff like that unless authorized the reason why you should not do that is because sometimes helicopters are passing by to take a survey of what's happening around and sometimes they also do search and rescue operations so you don't want your drone to be the reason why they crash don't fly your drones during those situations there have been a lot of fires in my place recently and I know how tempting it is to actually fly your drone to get likes and stuff like that because when you post stuff like that on the internet it actually gets viral pretty quickly it's like a lot of people are interested but like you don't want to risk other people's lives just because you want to get viral all right don't do that so the eighth thing is not to fly your drones in restricted areas just like prisons or maybe a national park because sometimes you might be mistaken as a terrorist that is trying to like you know cause damage to the area or something like that so just to be sure you should always ask for permission with the authorities before flying in places like that because like it's for the safety of everyone and in case someone asks you what you're doing you have mm, permission and nobody's gonna get mad at you so uh, number nine is to always respect people's privacies. I mean, it's as simple as that. You don't want to go around other people's homes sneaking around and, you know, doing weird stuff because they might report you and then you might go to prison and uh, yeah. So um, the last thing is just use your common sense, all right? Um, always consider the risks before flying. Always remember to fly safe. And when flying, the priority is always the people i mean it's not your shots it's always the people you don't want to hurt other people in the process all right so yeah uh thank you for watching this first video of mine for this series i mean i'm sorry if i'm using this phone right here because like the list that i made is right here and uh yeah hopefully you'll stick around hopefully you would enter the giveaway for this tiny drone right here oh yeah um if you have other tips that you might want to share if i left something out feel free to comment down below so that other people will also be aware about the things that I missed. All right, let's help each other out and let's make this community a good one. Thank you for watching once again. See you guys in the next video. As always, don't hate, appreciate. Take care. Bye.